I thought that I knew what to expect in terms of what neediness would look like here, but it's a whole nother level in Haiti. Historically, Haiti is such a dark place spiritually. Uh, people have been really trapped in bondage, the bondage of witchcraft and voodoo for so many years, and you still see the effects of that. Because the climate is so spiritually dark, when the light breaks in, it is so bright. I see the light of Christ penetrating the darkness in a way that I don't feel like I see it anywhere else. So every time I've come, I've experienced the Holy Spirit and the work of Christ in me and the rest of the team in a unique way that's so encouraging. Cross Park has partnered long term with El Shaddai Ministries International. ESMI really is a different kind of ministry. Sometimes ministries approach needs and they leave out the church, but they've made the church and church planting and evangelistic ministry the center of what they do, but they haven't stopped there. They, they've met holistic needs by education and empathy ministries and economic development. And so they've recognized what is the greatest need, the spiritual need, and they're meeting that need, but also ministering in deed as well through those other ministries. And it's, it's great to be able to support a ministry that is based here in Haiti, that is run by Haitians, where we get to come alongside and be helpful in the ways that they suggest and see God bring His kingdom to fruition through their work. I love the schools that they've started because 80% of the people in the community that we come to are illiterate and yet we have children that are learning to read for the very first time and that just changes their lives completely. I've seen these children going on to high school and college and then we've helped our sister church buy a fishing boat and do other things that have made an economic difference in their lives. I've seen people treated for infections and worms and that's made a temporary difference. Then I've seen people come to Christ that have come into the kingdom of God and their eternity has changed forever. I think there can be a lot of barriers to keep someone from going on a trip like our trip to Haiti. Do you have the vacation time to do this or are you going to have someone to take care of your children while you're gone. Can someone actually take care of your children as well as you do? <laughs> um, kind of like irrational fears like that. But we have to help. It's just what we're called to do. When we come to Haiti, we get to experience what Jesus has called us to do as Christians. 